Rebound comes down to the hands of Harden. Harden running the length of the floor, goes up high, and oh, no. to Sydney who slams it down! Before James Harden joined the Houston Rockets, becoming one of the top players in the NBA. My athleticism. They say I'm not athletic, but I feel that I, no, I, I can get up there with those guys. Before one of his post-game interviews was crashed by Kevin Hart. I mean, like I said, they're, they're a really young team and they play hard. Beat my team and get an interview without me doing this. <laughs> Hey, man, Kevin Hart is in everything. Before signing a lucrative contract extension with the Rockets and a massive endorsement deal with Adidas, bringing his estimated net worth to $50 million. When they drop a literal truckload of shoes off at your crib, is getting a truckload of shoes like the greatest morning ever? You get kind of numb when you have a gazillion dollars. Yeah, it's like, it's like Christmas. Before he started dating Khloe Kardashian while she was still married to Lamar Odom. Awkward. Are you in love? How long have you known this person? Yeah. I have who known, is the guy? Who is this guy? So I, I don't met, know anything about his basketball. His name is James Harden. He plays for the Houston Rockets. From a young age, James Harden resented his father, who struggled with drugs and the law, kept him from being around much. James was raised in Compton by his mother, Manja, who changed his life when she sent him to high school in Lakewood. His school had fostered a great amount of basketball talent over the years, including one of James' favorite players of all time. What he learned there would help him become Arizona State's star player and eventually perhaps the best shooting guard in the NBA. You're the best two guard in the game. How does that make you feel? It's a great accomplishment, you know, seeing from, you know. What's going on, guys? My name is Michael McCredden, documenting the life and career of James Harden prior to fame, here for you on Before They're Famous. Now, I want to thank SeatGeek for sponsoring this video. In the past, we've covered Kevin Durant and Stephen Curry, also Russell Westbrook. We're looking for suggestions on who to do next, so let us know in the comments down below. All right, let's go. Houston has won six of its last seven at home, and Harden connects on a gorgeous step back triple. James Edward Harden Jr. was born in Los Angeles on August 26, 1989, to James Edward Sr. and Maja Harden. His father was in the Navy at this time, but would soon get involved with drugs and be in and out of jail throughout his son's childhood. As a result, young James did not see much of his father growing up, something he has never fully forgiven him for. James refuses to use Junior when writing his name, and barely spoke to his father even after he would turn things around and start showing up to his high school basketball games. He wasn't impressed. James was raised by his mother Manja, who had two other much older children. His half brother Achille is 14 years old and was the star quarterback for Locke High School in South LA when James was still a toddler. Manja worked at AT&T as an administrator to pay the bills, and James spent most of his childhood in the Rancho Dominguez section of Compton. James was raised Christian and was a serious student. He was also an avid video game player, and despite his asthma, a competitive basketball player from an early age. He played often and was a big UCLA hoops fan and his favorite player was Jason Capono, although he was a huge fan of Kobe as well. I like guys, so Kobe, you know, he's, he's a guy who I watch, you know, go home after, after school and, you know, watch him play and see what he, what he has in store. James was close childhood friends with another kid who made it into the NBA, Toronto Raptor DeMar DeRozan. For high school, James attended Artesia High School in nearby Lakewood, California. When he first arrived on campus, he was surprised to see pictures of his idol, Jason Capono, in the gym. In fact, his high school developed a number of college basketball stars in the past, and James seized this opportunity to become one of them. Usual inbound underneath the Crawford hoop, they go up high to Harden, long three-pointer, and he knocks it down. James joined the basketball team in his sophomore year, averaging 13.2 points as the team went 28 to five. The next year, he grew several inches, his stats improved drastically, and he led the team to the California State title. In his final year with Artesia, the team were state champions again, and James was named a McDonald's All-American. All-American. There it is. Second year in a row, man. We won state championship, man. So we Let's go. While in high school, he also played on an AAU team, Pump and Run Elite. He led the team to a championship in 2006, winning against the DC team that included the likes of Austin Freeman, Nolan Smith, and Michael Beasley. And the Southern California All-Star team, which included young Kevin Love. Needless to say, James caught the attention of plenty of college recruiters. With his mother moving to Phoenix to take care of his recently deceased grandmother's house and his former varsity coach, Scott Perra, now working there, James' school of choice was, of course, Arizona State. Entering his freshman year, the Sun Devils were considered the weakest of the Pac-10 teams, but with James' help, they finished that year tied for fifth. In 2008, they failed to make the NCAA tournament, but defeated Alabama State and Southern Illinois in the 2008 NIT. Nit, what the fuck's that? James was named the first Alpac 10 and first team all district by the NABC and USBWA. 
Entering his sophomore year, he appeared on the cover of Sports Illustrated and was named to the Wooden Award preseason watch list. That year, he averaged 20.5 points a game, was named the Pacific 10 Conference Player of the Year, and declared for the 2009 NBA Draft. With the third pick in the, N in the 2009 NBA Draft, the Oklahoma City Thunder select James Harden of Aristotle. He was selected third overall by the Oklahoma City Thunder in his rookie year. He got to work on the court, living up to high expectations and also growing his trademark beard. In 2012, James suffered a concussion after being accidentally elbowed by Meta World Peace. Guy still has that name, doesn't he? What a disgrace. Also, come on, man, like, what are you doing with dropping bows? supposed to be all about peace. Meadow was ejected and later suspended for seven games. That season, James helped the Thunder reach the NBA Finals, though they lost to the Miami Heat. He became the second youngest player in history to win the NBA Sixth Man of the Year award, and during his free agency period, Oklahoma offered him $55 million to extend his contract for another four years. Instead, James opted to be traded to the Houston Rockets, where he has played since 2012. The same year, he played on the U.S. Olympic team, winning gold in London. Fourth and James Harden, the hammer it down. In 2014, he was a member of the winning team at the FIBA Basketball World Cup in 2014, and 2015 was another big year for James. He won the National Basketball Players Association MVP Award, locked down a $200 million endorsement deal with Adidas, and led the league in games played and minutes per game in the 2015 to 2016 season. He also began dating Khloe Kardashian that year, but that wouldn't last too long. She goes through men like I go through shirts. I need a new one. What you talking about, mister? No, I don't have a lot of shirts because I spend too much money buying tickets. And I have the best place for you to get the best price on your own. Boom! This is the world's largest event ticket search engine. What they do is search all the ticket prices available on the web, find the absolute best seat at the best price. SeatGeek puts out a 1 to 100 score to let you know if you're getting a good deal or a bad one. Green means good, red means bad. Now I worked out a deal with SeatGeek to get you guys $20 back when you use the promo code FAMOUS, F-A-M-O-U-S, so go ahead and use it now, there is a link down below. Now let's get back to James and Chloe. <sighs> At the time, her divorce from Lamar Odom was not yet finalized. Then Lamar nearly died from a highly publicized drug overdose, Chloe decided to return to him, cancel the divorce, and thus end her relationship with James. In 2016, he signed a $118 million four-year contract extension with the Rockets, set a franchise record with a 14 triple-doubles in a season, and became the first player in NBA history with multiple 50-point triple-doubles in a season. There's nothing this guy can't do except shave. Today, James is a five-time NBA All-Star and Olympic champion, and his number 13 has been retired by Arizona State. But now it's about sustaining it. You know, it's about the longevity being great and, uh, you know, being great for you know, many, many years. As for the rest of the story, well, you know the story because this is before they're famous. My name is Michael McCrudden. We make all sorts of celebrity bios here for you on this channel. If you like the athlete videos, well, you should check out the playlist we made where they're all there together. But we have playlists on actors and models and porn stars and YouTubers. There's a playlist for everything. And then there's one for after they were famous, before they were gone, and after they were gone, you know what I mean. All right, browse around, hit subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.